poppin' guys, your boy Big Bro Dre, and I'm back with another one. First, I'm gonna apologize for not looking in the camera because I'm driving. This is supposed to be a live, but for some, I just don't feel like doing a live right now because I, I might want to edit some of this stuff out. With that said, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is thank my subscribers, supporters, anybody ever liked the picture on Instagram, anybody ever left a like on YouTube, anybody ever subscribed to my channel, I appreciate that shit. Because I really don't have to do this, and I say that because I really mean it. With that said, this video is about how military ranks really work, or specifically how army ranks work, like how do they really work, all right? All of us have a general understanding, if you join in the military or if you're already in, you have an understanding that there are three separate rank uh, uh, structures. There's enlisted, there are warrant officer ranks, and there are officer ranks, all right? By the book, enlisted ranks, are from uh, our PVT to Sergeant Major. So by grade, that's E1 through E9. Warrant officer ranks are W01 to CW5. By grade, that is W1 through W5. Um, officer ranks are specifically O1 by grade to, I think, O11 or O12, but it's a uh, second lieutenant. All the way up to what the highest you can get now is a four-star general because uh, I think Congress stopped it from ever being a um, uh, five-star general of all armies. I think they stopped that shit, so that, that won't happen again. With that said, that is how technically the rank structure works, all right? Pretty much officers are at the top. They outrank warrant officers who outrank enlisted. But let me be the first to tell you if you haven't heard. That is not how military ranks or army ranks. I keep saying military because I want to be inclusive. But I'm really specifically talking about how army ranks work. That is not how army ranks really work, man. That is just That's just not how it works, okay? I say that and I'm going to leave with a story. All right, so I was at the um, commissary the other day. I think it was the commissary. might have been the PAs. And I was coming back and I stopped by one of my units, uh, one of the units in my area to just go get one of the uh, property book officers over there to talk some property stuff. And I saw a uh, second lieutenant, uh, Butter Bar. So this is the, the brown, the uh, bronze colored lieutenant, second lieutenant. And he was having a conversation with a sergeant major. And I know the Sergeant Major. Like, I know him. I, I used to work with him when I was in um, 13th Coscom, like, way back in the day. So, I know him or whatever. And the, he, the lieutenant, got in, like, the Sergeant Major's, like, personal space. And the Sergeant Major was kind of asking him, hey, can you back up a little bit? It, it, the uh, conversation kind of got out of hand. Well, the lieutenant got real loud with Sergeant Major and was like, hey, listen, I am your superior officer and you will not talk to me this way and all of this shit, right? I ain't see Sergeant Major raise his voice not one time, right? So so I'm looking and I'm like, shit, uh, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? What's going on in this, uh, in this situation? But in my head, I'm thinking, what in the world gives this second lieutenant who's been in the army for probably a week any any type of any any reason to think he could talk to a sergeant major like that and then i thought about it that is because the the way i don't think people really understand how the army works right and so yes that officer that second lieutenant outranks sergeant major technically by rank but by position i don't see a world where a second lieutenant by position our ranks of Sergeant Major. It just doesn't happen. And I know this from experience. I learned this fact that as a sergeant, I learned this as an E5. Like, and, and I know what's going to happen to this lieutenant. I, I know what's going to happen to him. What's going to happen to him is, that, and I saw the way the Sergeant Major carried himself. He, he was real calm. He didn't get irate. He didn't start using profanity like the second lieutenant was cursing at him and shit. I'm like, man, this is crazy. That, that freaking uh, Sergeant Major is going to go to his battle buddy who if you didn't know his battle buddy is most likely a lieutenant colonel or, or a full bird colonel or it could even be a general right could be the damn garrison commander right that's that sergeant major is gonna go to his lieutenant or go to his his battle buddy and he's gonna say hey this lieutenant went a little crazy on me today 
I wanted you to handle this. And you know what that lieutenant colonel or that colonel or that general is going to do? They going to handle that shit in like the harshest way possible. They going to place that second lieutenant and let that second lieutenant know, hey, <laughs> you was way out of your lane talking to that sergeant major like that. You got to understand, man. Listen, listen. That sergeant major, you don't know what this dude had to do to get sergeant major. You at least got to be in the army, I think, 12 or 13 years to even make that shit. So that sergeant major probably got more experience in his combat boots than that lieutenant has. That's not taken away from what a second lieutenant had to do to get where they at. I'm not saying, I'm not taking away from that second lieutenant. What I'm saying is there's a certain level of respect that you got to have when you, when you, when you're, you know what I'm saying? When you're a lower, a junior officer, like as a CW2, I'm never, I made, I made Sergeant First Class. I will, as a CW2, I will never disrespect no Sergeant First Class. Just out of respect for what they had to do to get to that rank. I would never do that. Understanding that they understand that not all warrant officers became senior NCOs. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I in the back of my mind, I was like, I know what's going to happen. So I don't feel sorry for Sergeant Major and no shit like that. But it's like, that's something that I think we don't get talked about a lot. But it's one of them things. Like, you kind of got to know it. And I would even go as far as to say... A lot of a lot of officers learn that shit like hella early. Like they learn it extremely early. Now, under the same token, I don't think it's right for a career specialist to be going crazy on a young second lieutenant because the second lieutenant might not know much. I don't think it's I don't think it's in good taste for me to go crazy on a second lieutenant. It's my job to mentor and train those guys and let them know their errors instead of you know, pointing a finger at him and saying, hey, sir, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I, I looked at that situation and I, I like to use it as a, a uh, as a story to kind of tell you guys, like, listen, man, we all got our lanes. We all got our places. But sometimes you kind of just got to know who you're talking to. And, and at the end of the day, it's just in poor taste. And even though you might outrank the Sergeant Major, I hell, I outrank the Sergeant Major. But you think I'm going to go run up on Sergeant Major talking crazy to Sergeant Major? You are out of your mind. Because the Army the, the, mili the army does not work like that, man. I I don't know why people are like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a first, second lieutenant. I'm, I'm a freaking uh, CW3. Like, it don't work like that, man. You're just not going to disrespect. You got to you gotta think about the, the efforts and the work that these the NCOs put in uh, to get where they are. A lot of these guys are life soldiers. That this is all they ever done for their entire life. So that that deserves some level of respect. Uh, I got asked to do a video about that second lieutenant on the uh, that got pepper sprayed in the face, and I probably will do it because somebody sent me the link to the uh, video and I watched it. It was disturbing actually, so I probably will do it if I get some time tomorrow. But yeah, I mean that second lieutenant standard. That guy handled himself with grace. He was he was respectful as much as he could be to those cops who were despicable, and, and, and he and, you know what I'm saying he he handled himself with a certain level of elegance that's expected of a junior officer. And with that said, you know, to my officers out there, don't let nobody disrespect you neither. I ain't saying let sergeant majors just get in your shit and disrespect you, but it's a certain way that you handle somebody with that type of rank and that type of experience. And that's just what I'm trying to put out into the air. Like, you don't handle no sergeant major like that, man. Hell, you don't handle no sergeant first class like that. You just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So whether you whether you believe what I say or not, there's gonna come a time where if you if you don't listen to what I'm telling you, you will be put in your place. Somebody in the army will put you in your place. You wanna hope that it's sergeant major and not his battle buddy, the damn four-star general. You know, you know what I mean? Cause I, and this is my thing. I know that that lieutenant would have never done that to to the sergeant major of the army. Like he wouldn't have done that, just cause he knows who his battle buddy is. So I, 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 I mean, I, I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all, man. If you if you want to put yourself in a position where you ostracize and you you in a place where people really generally just don't mess with you, start shitting on a list of people. That's gonna put you right there. And I'm just being honest, man. And that's today's video for that's the uh, today's video for you guys today, man. Sorry I couldn't do it in my office, man. I just really didn't have time today to get to it. Um, 
I got a lot on my plate for work today. And of course, you guys know I'm PCSing. So a lot of my time is, is spent doing PCS duties right now. So, uh, and trying to just get my stuff together for my replacement. So, uh, I appreciate you guys watching as usual. And I see you guys in the next video, man. Sorry about the sunlight, too. I know somebody gonna talk shit about that. Probably be Houston. <laughs> He'll talk shit about the sunlight. All right, man. I see you guys in the next video. Peace.